Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again, and this video is all about the Tata Altros and its brand new teaser. Yes, that's right. Yesterday night, a 15 second ad campaign, a short teaser of the Tata Altros was leaked all over the internet through WhatsApp and Instagram. Now, this video shows us quite a few details of the Tata Altros which we didn't know previously. So this video is all about those details and I am not going to talk about the common details which we already know. For those details you can click on the link in the description box below for my previous Tata Altros detailed video. Now let's get on with the details from this video only. The first thing you might notice is that the Tata Altros gets a wide opening 90 degree opening front doors. Yes, you can have a look at this screenshot from the video which shows a bird's eye view of the Tata Altros with its front doors wide open and it's literally 90 degree opening doors which really is going to aid convenience for the front seat passengers and it looks seriously well inspired from the albatross the bird which flies over the seas now the next detail you might notice is that the split headlamp setup well technically there is uh, only one headlamp setup and the lights below the headlamps are actually fog lamps but it still looks really cool and fantastic when you compare with any car in this segment and of course this setup also gets a daytime running led setup as well now the next thing coming up is the infotainment system. Now this screenshot shows the infotainment system from the teaser video and it is a similar kind of uh, UI as on the Tata Harrier as well as the Nexon but I only expect it to be a little bit refined and a little bit larger in size when compared with the Tata Nexon itself. It is going to get the standard uh, voice commands, the app connectivity and everything uh, which I'll exp explain in a couple of seconds and uh, the next thing as you can see is the ambient mood lighting function. Now this mood lighting function comes in a blue color on this video but I think that you might get options to change colors according to your preference and uh, this is a segment first feature only seen on the Tata Hexa previously and the next thing you might already see you might have already seen is that it's got a flat bottom steering wheel which looks really chunky and it's leather wrapped and it's really well crafted the horn buttons are located on the far edges of the center boss which is really unique and convenient positioning as you can see and of course you also get cruise control and steering mounted audio controls on the steering wheel itself now the next thing coming up this video directly zooms inside onto the driver instrument cluster which is a part digital part analog system as seen on the Tata Harrier itself it looks it literally looks similar to the Tata Harrier system only a little bit smaller but it is expected to provide the same kind of information the power and torque meter as you can see now the next thing coming up this is the only car which will provide rear AC vents for the rear seat passenger in this segment at least and along with a charging socket it really makes it convenient and the next thing this is the only car in its segment when you compare with the Maruti Baleno and uh, even the Volkswagen Polo you get a rear seat armrest which really aids comfort and convenience now the next thing coming up regarding app connectivity you will obviously get the regular Tata's connectivity suit from connect uh, next suits you get smart remote app which you can connect through Bluetooth to the Harman audio system and you can control basically everything from the backseat itself. You can control FM, you can control iPod, USB, your song preference, even the mood lighting control, the air conditioning, the fan speed, blower speed, temperature and everything just through your phone and as you can see you can even control the equalizer, the fader, the balancing of the audio system as well. So this is already present on the Nexon and Harrier and here you can, I suppose here you can even control the mood lighting function through this smart remote app as well, just like on the Tata Hexa. Now this app apart, one side, 
The next app is Juke Car Connectivity. Now this Juke Car you might have already seen on the Tiago, uh, the Hexa and the Nexon as well. And this app has been carried over to the Tata Altros as well. What this app basically does is you can connect up to 5 phones inside the car to a master phone which is actually connected to the Harman audio system through hotspot and you can basically form one single playlist as you can see over here even though you don't have a certain songs but through hotspot you can get those songs to your playlist and you can just play it as one single playlist now the next thing you can see is that from this screenshot uh, this screenshot actually shows talk to altos and it's powered by Google Assistant. So I think that the Tata Altros is expected to get a certain level of better connectivity option when compared with the existing uh, premium hatchbacks. And that is one surprise which they have reserved till the launch and it we are waiting for it. Now these are the details we got to know from this teaser video and it looks really cool. The car itself is really cool. Now uh, do let us know what do you think about the Tata Altros, are you excited for it? This Tata Altros is expected to hit the roads for media drives by August 2nd week. So we can expect a whole lot of photos and details pouring in. This is Viprajesh signing off. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like buttons and give your comments.